Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to make a short video uh, just to reply a member of my Facebook Power Automate Desktop group. Uh, her name is Gustarina. So she wants to separate each text separated by commas into three separate lists. How can I do this action? So I have prepared a file, a CSV file with three columns exactly like hers, like hers. then I'm, I'm going to put each list into three separate files. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, Please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step to do is, is to read from CSV file. Then you put in the far path of the CSV file. Then the rest you can leave it as default. Variables produced is a CSV table. Then you set variable. So n percentage csv table dot columns dot count uh, then uh, percentage symbol so this is actually to count uh, how many columns the csv table has so it's over here columns count uh, so my csv table has three uh, columns then you use loop You have to start from zero because the first column of the CSV uh, table is normally zero. It's always zero. Then n to n percent columns count minus one n percent. Right. So this will go to the uh, last column of the CSV file. So it's three minus one which is uh, column 2, which is the third column of the CSV file. Then increment by 1, variables produce is loop index. Then you use retrieve data table column into list. Data table is CSV table. Column name or index is the loop index that you have uh, set just now. So it will go through uh, 0 first. Variables produce is column as list. Then you launch Excel, launch Excel with a blank document. The rest you can leave it as default. Variables produced is Excel instance. Then you write to Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance. Value to write is column as list. Write mode on currently active cell. Then you save Excel. Excel instance is Excel instance, then save document as, then you put your uh, document path. So for now, I will put in the CSV, split CSV folder, and then if you look at the file name, it will be file underscore, then you put the loop index so you will know which column you are uh, saving. Right? And then that dot Excel XX. You can skip this step actually, and then uh, you put this step inside the close Excel. Uh, but I have uh, used the close Excel to separate it. So Excel instance, Excel instance, because I have already saved, I say do not save document. If you want to skip uh, the previous step, you can then uh, click on save document as. So I am now going to close the CSV file and just run this uh, Power Automate program. So you have read the CSV and paste the first column. <clears throat> then second column. Then third column. Right, so if I go back to the folder, if I go to file zero, it will display the 
first column of the CSV file. So if I open up the CSV file, uh, you have like copy and paste the first column. So I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please leave uh, your question in the comments below. And please remember to subscribe. Also, you can join my uh, Facebook group page, which is Power Automate Desktop. And then you can ask uh, questions on there. Uh, then I will try to answer as best as possible uh, if I know the answer. All right. Thank you, guys. Please remember to subscribe again. Have a good uh, weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.